Commission comes to present with the vote. I request the to stand up. I hereby welcome the honorable members of the Graduation Council, the graduates, and all our guests. It is my pleasure to present the members of the Graduation Council. Professor Janusz Stoity, Dean's Representative for Pre -Pre Clinical Education. <laughs> Dr. Livia Philip, Dean's Representative for Pre Clinical Education. Dr. Josef Mollet, Dean's Representative for Scientific Affairs. I hereby open the special meeting of the Graduation Council of the University of Szeged and the special graduation ceremony of the Albert Sandjuri Medical School. In the name of the Graduation Council and myself, I would like to welcome the candidates who have appeared to here to be conferred upon the title Doctor of Medicine and all our distinguished guests. I ask the candidates to present their request to graduate. Honored Graduation Council, the Examination Board of the University of Szeged has examined us in all sciences, the knowledge of which is required to become a medical doctor, and we were found worthy of receiving our medical diploma. Therefore, we humbly request that the title of Doctor of Medicine be conferred upon us. Now I request Professor Janusz Stoity to deliver his proposal regarding the candidates. Uh, with the authorization of the Council of the Albert Sanjuri Medical School of the University of Szeged, I propose 14 candidates from the English program to be conferred upon the title Doctor of Medicine. The candidates have all fulfilled the study and examination requirements. They have successfully completed their final examinations, defended their thesis, and have passed their state board examination. So, today we are ready to accept them as our fellow doctors. 
Dear candidates, before the graduation council meets your request, you have to swear to perform your duties as a doctor of medicine befittingly. I request everyone to stand while the candidates take their oath. I, Mujang Kim, on this occasion of my admission to the ranks of medical profession, swear on my honor to devote my talents and knowledge to the benefit of mankind. I shall hold University of Seged in esteem. I shall count those who have instructed me in the science of medicine as my masters and shall show them gratitude and respect at all times. I shall impart my medical knowledge and experience to the generations of physicians to come. I shall constantly labor to increase my erudition with a view to developing and advancing medical science. I shall practice my profession conscientiously. I vow to devote my medical knowledge to the protection of health and to the benefit of the sick. I shall treat and advise patients in the best of their interest and to the best of my knowledge and convictions, and I shall strive to safeguard their health against hazardous and injurious effects. I shall reveal no secret concerning my fellow men, whether learned within my practice of medicine or outside it, unless the law demands this. I shall inform the patients and also their relatives if the patient's interest so requires as to the patient's condition and the method of treatment in a timely and considerate manner. I shall issue a medical certificate only in accordance with my true convictions. I shall conduct myself toward the patients, my fellow physicians and the society as a whole in a manner befitting my calling as a physician. I shall preserve the honor of the medical profession and its noble traditions. I shall not be hampered from fulfilling the duties of my profession on the grounds of social, political, national, national racial, racial, or religious distinction. I take this oath solemnly and of my own free will. I now ask Professor Janusz Taiti to confer the title Doctor of Medicine upon the candidates. I Dr. Janusz Tajti, professor of the University of Szeged, Dean's representative for clinical education of the Albert Szentgyörgyi Medical School, 
bij mijn werk of mijn office is ik nu directeur conferen de titel of doctor of medicine upon the candidates. I invest you with all the rights and duties that are the legal due of a doctor of medicine under the laws of Hungary. Your duty will be not to serve science and healthcare, but serving your homeland and people with all your ability and might to be a credit to the University of Szeged and the medical profession. No, we, the Graduation Council of the University of Szeged, is ready to accept you with a handshake as our fellow doctors. Please step forward one by one. Anne Erisa. Cho Hyansa. Choi Suyeon who could not be here today, let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hong Chong Wan. Jong Ayon. <laughs> Kang Song Hyun. Kim Mujang. <laughs> Kim Yedolchan. Li Degum. Marseille, Charlotte, Anne, who could not be here today, let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Sao Unche.
sweet Abdul Rahman who could not make it today. Let's give it up for him. <laughs> Wu Hian Yi. Nildirim Dilha, who could also not be here today, let's give it up for her. I would now like to request Professor Janusz Daiti to deliver her ceremonial speech. My dear colleagues, allow me to congratulate you on becoming a member of the noble profession of medicine. Be very proud of yourself, as it has been your own diligence and commitment that have led you to receive your medical degrees today. Although this is a day to celebrate your success and achievements, but please, please remember all those who have helped you along your way. Your learning process has not ended today, however. The profession you have chosen is one where your knowledge needs to enhance and your skills sharp continuously. I always keep in mind Michelangelo Credo. I am still learning. The medical degree you have just received is a wonderful passport to life. I trust that most of you will use this passport for healing, which will involve much sacrifice, much work, and much compromise, and yet at the same time will give you the greatest of pleasures. As a practicing physician myself, I can confirm that your chosen profession is an excellent one. For the living, it promotes the singular, the most valued, and the most irreversible thing, life. A medical doctor has no more than two effective weapons against illnesses and death, knowledge and care. You can only rely on these two tools, so you need to improve both continuously. My dear young college colleagues, as you know, the standards of being a good doctor are high, but do not let this discourage you. May your career fulfill all your aspirations. I wish for you to be of service to mankind and to become a respected member of your profession. Have confidence in yourselves, because we have confidence in you. Thank you for your kind attention. On behalf of our graduates, uh, graduates I ask An Edisa, medical doctor, to give her speech. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished faculty and fellow graduates, I am Irisa Ahn, and I stand here before you today as a living, breathing testament to the fact that medical school does not have to be a never-ending nightmare. We survived countless hours of studying, sleepless nights, and constant fear of being asked to draw the structure of vitamin C, or being asked to recite the types of antiarrhythmic drugs or diuretics. At least we know it by heart now, right, hopefully? As we sit here in our oversized graduation robes, feeling like baby wizards about to cast an ultimate healing spell, let's reflect how wild this ride has been. When we first entered this school, we never anticipated that we'd spend so much time staring at our laptop screens. We must never forget the joys of Zoom lectures where we all pretended to be engaged while secretly eating a bag of chips or Googling the answers to the professor's questions. Online classes had their perks. We've become masters of social distancing and sanitizing everything in sight. My favorite part was being able to mute those people who would just not mute themselves in the actual classrooms. I have to say the pandemic has certainly added a unique twist to our medical education. We cannot thank the faculty enough for adjusting to online education so quickly so that they could provide us with proper education while they were still being called up to the COVID war day and night. As we embark on our medical careers, let's take a moment to appreciate the resilience we've developed during our roller coaster ride. 
We all thought that anatomy would be the most challenging class in first year, but that wasn't until pathology threw the ultimate Professor Ivani's pathology notes at our face, like Gandalf screaming, we shall not pass, without memorizing these notes word by word. Okay, medical school was not that all horror movie in disguise. Let's never forget when we first listened to the patient's heart sound and said the patient's heart sound is normal, which always made the doctors slap their foreheads and ask us, what is normal? <laughs> the excitement when we first got to scrub in during surgery practice and the thrill we felt the first time we came up with the correct diagnosis after anamnesis and physical exam, the overloaded cuteness of the delicate newborn babies in the NICU that melted our hearts right away. The first delivery practice when we witnessed both the pain and the beauty of childbirth. These moments allowed us to realize that learning is not attained by chance and motivated us to seek for learning with ardor and attend to with diligence. Before we embark onto the next chapter of our lives, on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to say special, th special thanks to the faculty and staff for their passion, dedication, and belief in our potential, which have shaped us into the people we are today. Lastly, congratulations to my fellow classmates for surviving the darkest corners of medical education. Now let's go ahead and be useful, be honorable, and be compassionate to make it some difference that we have lived and lived well. Thank you. Dear young colleagues, your studies have been completed. You should strive to fulfill your duties faultlessly and to increase your knowledge continuously and become a thinking and devoted citizen of your country. In compliance with your ceremonial oath, I wish for you to realize your medical practice according to your full potential. In the name of the Graduation Council and myself personally, I wish you good health and success in your practice. I hereby declare the ceremony closed. Honorable Graduation Council, young doctors, dear guests, we thank you for your presence and attention. I would like to ask everyone to rise from their seats and listen to the anthem of Europe.
Brothers and sisters, it's not over just yet. In fact, now comes the best part. Are you ready to toss those hats up into the air? You guys ready? Yeah. On the count of three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs>